What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one. Another one. Another one. That's right. <laughs> Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys big tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new, healthy, and loving, positive level, right? All those things, hopefully, you'll get. Yes. But you know what? You might fall short in some areas. That's why you're here, because you're going to learn some things from us that hopefully you can come up on top instead of on bottom with, right? Mm -hmm. So this week, we're going to cover something that I think we've all had fun with or all have went out and done. Yeah. And that's Halloween. Candy. Trick or treat. <laughs> Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. You know, remember all those different sayings out there? The boo wrong. buckets and all the things from McDonald's buckets. and... You know, oh, I used to love those boo buckets. The boo buckets. They're back. Man. I don't eat McDonald's, but you go get a boo bucket for your kid. <laughs> I saw that yesterday when he went to go buy McDonald's the for me. Boo buckets. Peter. You know, these are these are things that are classic, classic memories from my childhood, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, I like holidays and uh, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. It definitely is hundred percent. It's fun. Uh, especially because it keeps you young at heart. And that's a big thing. For your relationship, right? Once you get in a relationship, Everything's hot and heavy, possibly, and as you keep going longer and longer, dies longer, down. Things could be di things could be dying down. Not all the time. Different relationships, different things, different way people act and, and treat themselves. So, but it could be, you know. And how are you going to get that spirit back up? How are you going to ignite that old flame, possibly? And that's one one part of you know being young. Being young, you were creative. You had more drive than ever, right? Um, more positive than ever, probably as a kid, and you are as an adult. But at that point, because, you know, as an adult, you know, we see all the real things that we don't see as a kid, and that <laughs> kind of ruins things for us, right? <laughs> yeah, you got the, what, what do they call it? Like, where you're just, like, it's, like, blinded, like, just happiness, because you have no idea what's going on around you. Yeah, yeah, you just got the blinders on, you're looking <laughs> yeah. at, I mean, you know, when you're a kid, you know, you think Santa Claus is going to come down the chimney, you think the Easter Bunny is going to be hopping along and yeah, get you a your basket. until your parents ruin it, and tell you that, I bought all those presents, this is over. Oh, man, that was true, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> No more. That is presents from me. <laughs> she was jealous of Santa was getting all the credit. I'm like, man, Santa's got credit for at least five years now. He's five. He's good. But, uh, you know, I mean, Halloween could be a, a great tool for you as a couple, um, even if you were sharing it with your kids. I know when we used to go trick-or-treating with Peter, and we took Peter his first year he was born, I think, right? Remember? Mm -hmm. It was like right after he was, he was a like pumpkin. six months or something like that. Oh, he was a sorry. pumpkin, and he has asked to be a pumpkin again this year yes. at 14 years old for baseball. Yeah, but, you know, I thought it was really cool because I dressed up with him. So I dressed up, yeah. you know, we go trick-or-treating, and Wolverine. we did that for years and years and yeah. years until finally he didn't want me to dress up no more. And now he doesn't want him to go anymore, and now he doesn't want to go anymore at all. That's kind of how that that, yeah. that evolves, right? Yeah. I mean, Enjoy them while they're little. Yeah. They really don't get it. Then you got to check their candy. Yeah. Then it moves on to the, okay, cool, we can do this. Yeah. And then it moves on to, I don't want to be seen in public with you. Get away yeah. from me. I'm going with my friends. <laughs> and then it moves on to, now here you are with a basket yeah. at your front door serving other children. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. That's <laughs> the how it evolution goes. of Halloween life for everyone on the planet that's a parent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, Halloween's changed, obviously. So if you have kids, you know, you're taking your kids trick-or-treating, and I don't even know what night they're going to go man, maybe they're this weekend really or whatever it is. Just talking about that, maybe man. They're might, not really trick-or-treating You anymore. might get like an hour or two to go trick-or-treating. It wasn't like that before. It was like, A big man, festivity. every kid was just every ready, like, to just to go out trick-or-treating. Yeah, like, they just wanted deal. to have fun. They wanted to go in groups. You know, the parents would go. They'd walk around. The kids would go, and they'd run up to the door, and, they, you know, they'd all be there talking. Everybody's having a good time. Um, you know, you, I, that's something I think we, we're missing, you know. I, we're not getting it back, guys. Social media, they're going to have these candy buckets on there. and you can, You're can you going to be able to get candies online and everything. It's going to be great. Was candy it? buckets? Yes, of course. Everything has went to, you know, everything oh. has been now digital. Oh. So you're going to receive your candies digital. Everything's going to be digital. You won't have to leave. The, you won't have to leave. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody about that earlier today. I'm like, man, these kids don't go trick-or-treating or nothing anymore. So I thought the kids, I think they have a specific day. And like, I've seen some kids went trick-or-treating this last weekend. So oh, really? So I guess every area is a little bit different. Um, I don't know. You, we would go trick-or-treating on Halloween. Yeah, it's supposed to be on Halloween. Like, Halloween, that's when we would do it. And, you know, there's a, a wide variety of different places you go. You were going around your neighborhood. You go to the big, fancy neighborhoods because they had the best candy. Yeah, or you drive might go me there. The, <laughs> might go to the mall. I, I remember going to the mall one yeah, year mall and going too. to all the shops and yep. they were doing that too. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But you're asking yourself, all right, John, how's that helping my relationship? <laughs> right? Because I could care less about these kids going trick-or-treating. That's cool. My kid's gone out of the house or I take my kid trick-or-treating and I don't really don't care. So, 
let's talk about it. The real reason we were talking about Halloween and having a good time and using it as a tool is, one, keeping yourself young. If you have that mindset and you're playful with yourself and you're able to dress up and not be so serious all the time, and listen, I can get serious, but there's there's different times where you don't want to be like that. And that's what happiness revolves around, having all these different things and being in the right state of mind when you're doing it. So being younger at mind and being younger at heart will keep you alive longer. It's a fact. It is a fact. And at that point, you will be happier. And your partner the same way. You want to do that, right? And be happy with your partner. So... Maybe you guys go to a, a Halloween party. Yeah, right? they have them all over the place. Halloween event. Like even here uh, in, in Tampa, we're going to have carnival, right? And Mike Piper's putting this huge carnival thing on. Yeah, Piper. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and view, bringing Every huge year. DJs. And everybody dressed up for that, and they go out there, and they have a good time to listen to music and have a ball and have a blast. You know, this is something you guys can utilize. You guys can go out in the town. You guys can do some different things. You, you know, guys can dress up. Yeah, like, you guys can dress don't up. be afraid to dress up when you're, you know, 25, 35, 45, whatever, 55. Dress up. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Nobody's, I mean, maybe you're being judged, but no one cares. Um, you go out, have a good time. Yeah. Get, me and John, and I'll make sure to give all these cool pictures in case you didn't already. But we have dressed up like every year. I mean, I mean, every superhero you can possibly imagine, like Spider Girl and Spider Man, Iron Man, Iron Girl. Yeah, the, it's, oh, Hawks, oh man, the, I, that Captain was a good America. one. See, you know, all you really need to do to bond with your significant other is find a green paint because you want them to be Incredible Hulk, right? And make sure it's the acrylic paint that oh. doesn't come off the body, right? And you put it everywhere. And then at three o'clock in the morning, realize, oh, this is not coming off. That acrylic paint was. And so I was serious. pregnant. I was on my knees in the tub scrubbing this guy. <laughs> it's not coming I off. I went from the green hawk to the red hawk real quick. <laughs> Moral of the story. But it was fun. You know, it was bonding. You know, I mean, poor John and his skin. Because I got, I got over it after a while. I'm yeah. like, all right, man. I was like, I made this this side of the body. You do the other half. Yes, yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, that was, that was something, you know. I mean, you go to a costume contest, you know. Maybe you guys win a costume contest yeah. or just be involved with it. It's just, it's just fun, yeah. right? You just want to have some good fun. Old, good old clean fun. You know, no stress, no garbage. You don't got to go drink. You don't got to do any drugs. You don't do anything like that. Just go out and have a good time. Go to, I mean, they have haunted houses all over the place. That's another thing. That's a cool thing to do. You can walk through there. You know, it kind of puts you guys like, I'm always yeah, like. Yeah, your I, girl's going to want to hug up on you because yeah, you're scared. Yeah, I you're always hold on to John's Calvin Klein's. And I mean tight. I hold on to those Calvin Klein's tight. And this is how I walk through the, the whole thing, like this. And then come out and like, did you like it? I'm like, yeah, it was great. <laughs> oh, it's always John's back. I mean, even, even with Peter, we, we started taking <laughs> Peter to Haunted House when he was six years old. Peter was like, man, that's that's a little young. He went to everything. All the Bush Gardens, Hall Scream <laughs> ones, Scream Again. I mean, so all the ones, major ones down here, yeah. he went to. You know, but, you know, flip side of that, right? You go out, you have a great time. Or maybe you don't, and you stay home, and you have a great time. Dress up. Perfect cosplay type situation where you guys can involve some fantasy in with it. And you guys can maybe ignite those flames that have diminished over time. We're on national television. You should tell me what you would ever want me to dress up as. Oh, man. I don't know. On the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Maybe okay. a genie in a bottle? I mean, Princess Jasmine is what she already looks like. So it's, it's not that That's hard. easy. I'll so just show up as, like show up as myself. I don't want that. <laughs> I want, that. I want something like really off the wall. Like, I'll put on a long shirt and be like, I'm Jasmine in pajamas. Like Daphne or something. Like put on like one of those wigs, like a purple dress. Like oh something gosh. totally different, right? Oh my goodness. Totally different. So it sets your partner apart from what you like recognize them as. And that's kind of cool, right? You're like, oh, wow, this is new to me. This is, uh, this is a really fun situation. We're having a good time together. Uh, we're doing a new experience together. And this could lead to more down the road, right? And yeah. this could lead to... You know, like I said, igniting memories, those flames back. Memories. Yeah. Memories is something people can't take from you, right? So when you create memories, no one takes memories from you. Good yeah. and bad, you yeah. know? But hopefully you have more good memories than bad memories. Yeah. But memories are good. You create them, you capture them, take pictures, take videos. You can always go back to it. Yeah. You know, these are good things you want to do in a relationship, in a healthy relationship, is create memories. Right. Memories, memories, memories. Yeah. No one can take it. Yeah. It'll always be there. New bonds are formed with those memories, too, as well. Yeah. And that happens with your partner, with your kids. I mean, anybody you're a close to, the more experiences you go through together, the closer that bond gets. And, you know, you can you can name a whole bunch of different organizations where you can kind of see this. One is usually the military. Two is sports teams. 
they get together, they go through all these trials and tribulations together, and even if they hate each other's guts, they ride for each other. Mm-hmm. And that that's really cool. Like mm-hmm. that's like the ultimate, you know, bond there. So I mean, really, really cool stuff. So happy Halloween to you guys early. Halloween's gonna be this week, so make sure you guys got candy for the kids. Try to give me the most healthy candy out there, and I know there's no such thing as. <laughs> John's on the back over here, like, let me see this hyper Here's a protein syrup. bar. I'm gonna give you little protein oh bars coming gosh, out. Jesus. <laughs> but listen, enjoy Halloween. Use it as a tool, use it as a fun time. Whether you have kids, don't have kids, experience Halloween together. Enjoy the holidays uh, and create those traditions. So that's it, guys. That's our Cupid's Corner for this Sunday. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC, or you could DVR it, or don't worry about it, and just go over to YouTube and go to Titan Medical Center, hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell, and watch all the great episodes of Our Cupid's Corners and more cool content. We also have podcasts, so if you don't want to watch us or you're on a long trip, you can always listen to us and get those great tips and information that we're giving out. We appreciate it, and we'll see you back next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. At 11 a.m., we'll see you there. My sexy husband, John. Let's not forget that. Yes.